Okay. Just gonna find. Oh, there we are. Just gonna pop this into the creative family group for everyone that's in there. Okay. 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 So, welcome, family. My name's Elisa. I am Scrapbook Fantasies in Gladstone, Queensland. Um, okay. Hello, Lorraine and Michelle. Hello, Tash. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram under at Scrapbook Fantasies. I have got Naomi John's handles all the same. I'm just going to make her a poster tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll do that before we do our weekly roundup. So tonight we're using Peace and Joy, which doesn't come out until next week, next Friday to be exact. It is released. But this is another way. So there is a kit you can buy. Why point there's your diary in my tub? Good question. Good question. So, okay. So we've got this card making kit from last Friday at Gix. You've got the pattern paper pack, which has got two each of the six pattern papers plus a free flare button. And then you've got Peace and Joy in the baby girl version or the pink version, not baby girl, the pink version of Monday night's class. Obviously, I'm going to do a 2014 because that's when the boss was born. I'm going to do that so we can put a picture up. Um, so the kit from tonight will be a fourth way you can get Peace and Joy ahead of time. So if you missed it, this is what Nami John did in her mixed media class last night on the Creative Family Group. So she made a bit of a canvas, so it looks really awesome. There. Okay, so we're making, well, it's got two names. It's either an infinity card or a never-ending card. It's one of those cards that you just keep folding. And... Um, keep folding and it just keeps folding, folding, folding. So yeah, I'm going to try and make it super simple. We're doing a Christmas tree one. Uh, that is Yvonne G's request. Um, but what I want to do is explain to you how to make it and how to make it your own, like how, why the measurements it's no good giving you a template. It's no good giving you a whole heap of measurements if you're not understanding why you're doing what you're doing. Let's get my sibling tower. I think it's a kitten. Hello, Di and Chloe. Hello, Mary. Hello, Chrissy. I'm going to say hello to everybody, even though the 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 video live video gurus tell you not to do that because it's you know a waste of your time. But it's never a waste of my time to say hello to my lovely friends. And creative family. Hello, Pam. Oh, thank goodness you got home, Chloe. I'm really glad because I hadn't looked at my phone to see if you got home and I was a little little concerned as it came in dark a little early today. Hello, Karen and Leslie. Hello, Lanair and Helen. Hello, Robin. Hello, Liz. Hello, Diane. Last night's class was really wonderful, Dot, wasn't Diane? And you heard me making um, stock paste and cooking in the kitchen and teaching Noah how to cook um, my lemon chicken so that he know Milton knows my apricot chicken and Noah now knows le is learning a lemon chicken. He's just got to cook it a couple more times and um, that means that he knows something that Milton doesn't. Hello, Tanya. Oh, there you go, Raquel. You were hoping you'd be home for tonight. How are you? 
Laura, we all love you guys. You're always so welcome. Thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Okay. I did a tiny bit of fussy cutting. I just didn't want to get too excited. I've cooked meatloaf tonight. I haven't cooked a meatloaf. Were we here or we're still living at Mitchelton? Was it before we had Milton? Yeah, I think it was before. Yeah, really? yeah but we have one now as well. Yeah. Well, we have one in the cupboard somewhere. We're on the counter that one. Convection oven. Uh, like, you know, the big glass convection ovens, um, circular ones. Um, chalk cooker, we call it. Um, last time I made a meatloaf, I think it was like a woman's weekly recipe or something I saw on Oprah. It wasn't nice. It wasn't, might not have been Oprah. Might have been a cooking show on telly. It wasn't nice. This is Jamie Oliver inspired from last night. Um, and it was really good. We put cheese in it. I don't know how my stomach's going with the cheese in the meatloaf. It's not really great right now, but everyone else loved it. And but I did my hidden veggies thing. So and I've made enough the for sauce was the sauce was loaded with veggies like carrot and celery and that and tomato and uh, that I made with it. And I so I added extra veggies, but I put great we put grated carrot and zucchini in the meatloaf because I like to hide veggies and everything and my kids love hidden veggies so let's put that aside we don't need that yet let's let's get going so when you're making one of these <coughs> the thing to think about oh and this is inspired by someone on the Stamperia design team um, I don't think I think it was someone called Omar that loaded it, but I don't think he made it. He might have made it, but I'm not sure he made it. Um, yeah, well, we've only had it twice, and this time it tasted way better. I think I'm just a bit more of a mature cook now, too. I just do my own thing. Uh, who happy, the kids or the cats? Only just stop me and I'm gonna send the kids. Yep. Yep. Yep, you would have got used to good internet in town. My dad makes it expensive. It's a sort of chutney glaze over it. Oh. oh. Jamie Oliver put um, cheese on top of his. It's way too much cheese for <laughs> me. Glaze I'm, sounds nice, I'm not a cheese fan. No, I'm not making the glaze to put over. I did actually glaze it with some of the um, tomato sauce that I was making. Around just when you it. cook in the frying pan, but you don't bake it. Yeah, you cook it. this on the frying pan. One pot wonder it is. Hello, Lee. Hello, Diane. Veggies are yummy. So the first place to start with your infinity or never-ending card is what size you want it to be. So it's actually going to be a flat thing you give someone. So you're going to give them a flat thing, and you really can't overly embellish it because if you embellish it, it's not going to work. Like, if you, you can embellish it, but it's got to be flat. Like, th this is not a thing for ribbons and flare buttons and sequins because it's not going to work. Not going to work well. Let's, let's, let's be honest here. Not going to work well. So, a 5x5 five five is cheaper to post, inch, is cheaper than post than a 6x6. Six six. So, let me think. Oh, hello, Karen. Let's make a 6x6 six six to talk about if you were going to make it smaller. Okay. I think a 6x6 six six is nice and easy. So we're going to get... Well, we make a 5x5 five five so you can post it easily. Yeah, it's only 50 cents. 50 cents. Actually, no, this time you just write card only on. They're all 65 cents. Even 6x6s? Six yeah. Anything you write card only on. Oh, Mildy's yeah. envelope was huge. Envelope Let's make a six by six. So a six inch by six inch piece. We're using um, white linen embossed. Does it say we've got any of that? Because I've got a bundle of it here. So it's a six inch by six inch piece of white linen embossed. So it's white on both sides. I'm going to pop this piece of peace and joy down. For contrast. Okay. I will be 
Yeah, possible. Okay. You right? You caught up? Yeah, yeah, I'm all going right to the oh. Okay. So we need our scoreboard or our little one. You need to use a big one or a little one. Let's use the little one. Uh, sister says we have zero sheets. Oh, okay. I've got a bundle here. Uh, system says we have seven sheets. So have you need to sell me one, and then we've got two, four, six, nine after you sell me one. But there's some card kits I haven't made, so... Oh, well, no. It just say it's got what it's got. Yeah. You better sell me one. I'll sell you. And don't adjust it. Okay. So, we need to, so the next thing you need to do is decide how big you want your tree to be, like, and how big you want your sides to be. We're going to do eights tonight, just so you know. We're making a tree. Yes, we are making a tree. So, if you make the sides wider and the centre narrow, then you're going to get a tall pointed tree. And, and you're going to get a shorter stout tree, same height actually, but more of a stout tree if you make your sides narrow. But what we're going to do is we're going to make our sides an inch and a half and our centre three inches wide. So you could actually just whack it on the scoreboard and score the whole way through. There's an issue with that. The issue being that if you do that, you're quite likely to end up with bits you don't want scored. And then you've got to stick paper over it. And if I'm going to show you cheaty cheats way to do things, well, we need to do things a bit different. So we're going to mark very, very lightly. Um, we actually had... Two big boxes of pens arrived today. But I haven't had time to put them in. So we're, going to, we're not going to mark it at one end and then put the ruler on and do crooked business. We're not doing that. So we need to come in an inch and a half from each corner on all four sides. So an inch and a half. An inch and a half from each. So you're just marking it an inch and a half. Yep, marking an inch and a half in from each corner on all four sides inch and a half inch and a half I'm not going to very lightly I'm sort of going to mark where the crossovers are going to be see I'm marking here I'm going to try and mark where the crossovers are, where all these lines are going to intersect, where these inch and a half in from the corner lines are actually going to intersect because their intersection is actually the important thing. It's really, truly the most important thing. So doing this little bit of legwork now actually saves you from having to yeah, do something that you don't really want to do, trust me. Which is make up fancy schmancy templates. Rightio, so that's what we've got. And they're an inch and a half in. Sorry, it strobes for the boy. So we're going to line this up. We're going to ignore those, but what we're doing is we're using them to only score, we're only scoring these corner bits. Right, we're just scoring to that bit. We're just scoring these and these. This corner, this corner. We're making four scored boxes. So let's turn it again. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. We're just making four scored boxes.
if you scored the whole way through, it's still going to work, but you've got to kind of cover those score lines up. Rightio. So we've got box, 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 box. Rightio. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just find the centre here and the centre of our little corner score bit and then we're going to come down here and we're going to find the centre point between these bottom two. So I think it's do a little line across right so we're going to cut from this corner here down to this center point and from this corner here to this center point but we're also going to cut across here also going to cut across here so we're cutting a line here here and here we're going to cut three lines. Okay. <coughs> okay. Have I lost anyone yet? Let's get the cutting mat out. Just dig it out with a craft knife. It's got a ruler. Barbecue, oh, there you go. The cat, cat keeps climbing on your craft stuff. Obviously, that cat missed you, Chloe. Well, here comes the same job, my boss has been kicked off Facebook since yeah. it's not over YouTube. Hello, Jason. Hello, Marie. Oh, I can't read the more on Chloe's. Crossing up doing the card for my second one with the mini shaker as everyone's Christmas cards, but now I'm thinking this sounds awesome. Oh, yeah, maybe you just need to make one of every card, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Too many choices, see? Too many choices. So, the first thing we're going to cut is we're going to cut this one across here from that point to that point. Okay? You're cutting across one side. Yep, we're cutting through the middle. down on this bottom point here it's an inch and a half in but we're cutting across in the middle here between our score lines so from there to there so if we could cut along the inch and a half line yeah inch and a half up from the bottom in the middle like in the middle three inch section so there we go we cut that there so cut in there then we're going to cut from this point up here, corner of this box, down to the centre point. So the corner of the box, down to the centre point. And we've got to line up a few times. Do you know why you use a metal ruler for this? Because when you use a wooden ruler, you can actually cut bits off the ruler without realising, some of the plastic ruler, cut bits off the ruler and it not actually correct anymore and the ruler is no longer a correct measure but that's not across the diagonal that's across this is from the top right hand box the corner of the top right hand box down to the center of the line we just cut there so the corner bottom left corner of the top right hand box down and look okay you want to see some magic we are already starting there is the start of our tree. 
Now, there's a trick to remembering how to fold them. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Okay, now we're going to cut from the bottom right corner of the top left box. So this corner of the top left box down to this center point. And you can see that's going to be the top of our tree. So come up here. Then you can go from the top left to the same point. Yeah, to that center point. Just trying to line it up nice and straight. Takes a bit of folding. Okay, so let's talk about the secret. So the secret is, and, and I don't know, I, I did a little bit of Pinterest research today and no one actually said this. So going to the back, we need to make a palm out of this stuff, hey, people. We need to make this into a palm and you need to remember this. To the back, we go right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom, to the back, right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom, because they're folding to the back and that's how it goes. To the back, right, left, top, Bottom, right, left, top. It's like bottom. one of those things you made when you were kids when you wrote different messages on Instagram. That's a chatterbox, dude. Yep. So now we have to be very careful and rub out our pencil marks. Let's get rid of this. Real, I'm going to go slowly, but it's got to be quick because it's not going to take a long time. It is complex, says my baby. Oh no, it's not as complex as some I watched. No, 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 this is not complex at all. I'm going to try and make it so easy. So when you're erasing, follow the pencil line. Hold it really secure, like really hold it secure and follow the pencil line and follow the cut line. If you're erasing on a cut line, don't go across, follow the cut line. And just hold it super secure. So you want a, a nice stiff card stock for this? Yeah, sort of stiff, but not so thick that it's hard to it's fold. Crack. Yeah, that it's going to crack in that. I know. Now, I've seen people ink these. Just Someone think type ink. that poem, please. Oh, can someone type that? Oh, please. Yeah, come on, Quentin. Oh, Jesus, hang on. To the back. Hang on, this is like So a put it on this screen. To the back. To the back. Yeah. To the back. Yep, yeah, what next? Right, left, top, bottom. To the back. Right, right left, top, bottom. Okay. Oh, my God. So Jesus. obviously in this position, it kind of doesn't have to be anything special does it like it it doesn't have to be particularly special way but when we start doing this kind of thing we want at this point okay so let's do to the back right left top at this point in time we want our christmas tree to all be pointing upwards Right. Thank you, Diane. I'll beat you by a second. And bottom. And then we go right, left, 
top, bottom. Right here. So now what we want to do is So we want this to point that way. So we need to be looking at what I'm just gonna go there. I think everyone's still going to the one. And that's when we turn it over. Right. Left. Top. Okay, so these will need to, so, because we can't dictate which way they're going to look at it. Right, that's the Christmas tree. Right. So I think these little guys don't really particularly matter. Rightio. So these ones go, you got three going up and one going down and three going up and one going down. Okay. So we need to fold it both ways. I think right now what we need to do is do a little bit of... Okay. The bone folder disappeared the other day. I think it got borrowed. So I've got a paintbrush. I have a clean paint. There's three desks so I've got to check for this bone folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of like set my score marks. I'm going to fold them back both ways and crease them. All my score marks. And let's do these guys at the bottom. Yeah, I've got a proper bone one and it's disappeared. It's disappeared. So we're just going to crease them and let's do the sides. Is everyone au fait with it so far? It's to the back. Right. Left, top, Left, bottom. Top, bottom, yes. So I remember the first step. Yep, bone folders run away. They do, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe had... Sure, I've yep. sold you two over the years, Chloe. Yeah, um, when you buy a score, scoring board, you get a plastic one. They're plastic. These are all plastic. I don't know. It's better than trying to use the back of the knife. Back of bread and butter knife's good. Oh, Righty-o. We need to get more scoring buttons, too. Um, bold palm is to the back. Right, left, top, bottom. Okay. So to the back, right, left, top got a christmas tree bottom so until you fold the bottom it won't move but once you fold the bottom it moves and then right left it's kind of like a house top bottom and it works backwards and frontwards so we've turned it over right left top bottom right left top bottom Okay, let's fill in these babies. And I think we start with the easy peasy stuff. The little squares. And what are we going to do? Or do I start with the hard stuff? Nice. Quentin reckons the hard stuff. I think Quentin can probably. He can probably. <laughs> Great, pretty sure I won't be saying Santa approved words when I try to make this one. Oh, I don't know, Karen, it's not that hard. It's just a square. Jacqueline, you can smash this out. Hard stuff. Not hard stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, hard stuff. Yes, let's start with the hard stuff. What are we going to cover it in? Chloe's been using the paintbrushes, but she hasn't touched her up one night. That's scoreboard. Scoreboard. Yeah, scorers. Yeah, I've been using my art, but my ones. What do we think? Yeah, 
they call them when you do the easy stuff like that when brain's not working properly. Okay, I've got to think about decoration here. So what colour am I going to make my tree? I'm going to make my tree this colour. I think I'm going to make Sandy it this gave a friend an easel card lately, recently, and she had no idea how to open it or set it up. Oh. I don't think she would get to work this card out. Oh, maybe not. You might have to send her a video, Sandra. The uh, thing on the first flap is a uh, QR code with instructions on how to use the card. Could we make a pink tree? Maybe we make a pink tree with a brown pot. Or stem or something. Let's make a pink tree. A collage tree so it doesn't matter. But it needs to be pointing the right way up. Okay. Let's be doing that. Let's make it identical on both sides. Okay? This is for demonstration purposes. Go away. It's a flying ant. Okay. Pam will be reciting that poem in a sleep. Pam will? Okay. Sorry, Pam. So what we need to do is, so when you're making yours of your own measurements, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it and do, we're going to do smaller borders than normal. I think maybe. No, let's do a normal quarter inch border. Let's not do eights unless we have to. Right. So these side panels, these two side panels, this is the halfway mark. So these are both based on a three inch square. Okay. So what we're going to do There you go. Karen's going to make this um, from what? Forks glitter card, you know. Faux glitter card. Yeah. Oh yeah, my faux glitter card. That'll look really awesome. Yeah, this is gonna aim what's that on it? Decoration on Faux glitter card. Yep. That's a really good idea. So I but that's okay. I'm going to make these over the weekend. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so these ones, we've got four of them, are gonna be based on three inch squares. So let's make ourselves, we need four three inch by three, uh, two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch squares because they're filling three inch square spots. So because we want to border around it, we need four that are two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So we've got one. Two, three, four. This is pattern paper one from piece and piece. Okay. Make sure the writing's the right way up. So obviously, we need to hack a bit off this. So we need to go on the bottom edge. So when we're looking at this piece with script, still needs to be on the bottom edge. So the two left-hand ones are going to be the same, and then the two right-hand ones are going to be the same. Ooh, which one's me that way? So let's do our left hand first. So we need to go from the bottom right 
up diagonal to the center. Hello, Cheryl, how are you? So you need to go from the bottom right back up to the center. So let's find the center. Now this was two and three quarters, so our center point is going to be um, one and three eighths. Um, yeah, one and three eighths. So halfway between one and a quarter and one and a half. Just make one to start with. I need a little chopper. Okay. So we're going from halfway across the top down to the bottom right. go mine's not exactly perfect because I'm not perfect let's do another one exactly the same to go on the back so we're going to measure across the top find the center point so the center was one and three eighths and then you yep. went to the bottom right corner there. yep and this is for the left hand one so you're going to go to the opposite corner so the left one you go to the right corner the bottom right corner and the right one you're going to go to the bottom left corner so i'm gonna just chop from the center point at the top down and this one's going to go same as that but it's going to go around here we're going to make both sides identical rightio so let's rub our marks out and whack them babies on Let's stick as we go. Okay. So for Alicia's cutting the two and three quarter squares from the center, one and three eighths, to the bottom right corner, and then from the center point again to the bottom left corner. Yeah, two of each. Sense for Probably lift up to 16 hours. She's going to watch this one tomorrow. Who's that? Robin B. Oh, yeah. They got new. They're trialing some new shelf packers at Coles, so Quentin hasn't got many hours. Which, mm, not great for the family budget, but really great for family time. The kids are enjoying having Dad home. Let's turn it over and put this one here. Nora and I got to go to Mass at school today. In the year Mass. Amelia really wanted me to go to it, so or someone to go to it, so... No, no, I went. There we go. So we've got two bits done. Yeehaw. So these are our right hand pieces. So we're going to do. So once we cut these two and stick them on, do you know what? We are two thirds of the way through the hard stuff. The hard stuff will then be two-thirds done. Like, that's how trippy and tricky this is. Easy peasy. Rightio. Easy peasy, so one and three-eighths, find your halfway point on both of these at the top. Especially if you've got a directional print. Now, we're going to... Do a little bit of decoration, but we're not going to overly decorate it, right? Hold up. Because you need to really get your head around this first. Okay. So last time we went down that way, 
this is for a left hand a right hand side piece so we're going to go from top center down to bottom right that means we're going to flip it around can i just tell you something what? naomi cheated in our race she cheated you know how because i wasn't ready you weren't ready well that means that that doesn't mean she cheated that means but, that, but that I was... you weren't ready that means that you're you weren't ready that doesn't mean no so but... from the top center down to the bottom left so man so i was wiping my face and then she just went oh well that means that you're too slow you're unorganized no but you're meant to go at the same time no but if you're not organized you dip out I didn't dip out. Yeah, you did. You lost. No, but she cheated. She How didn't go at the same time. And Rosie saw at the same time. Well, no. was it for state trials? No. It was for a winning race. And was she it for a medal? By the way, she's using time now mm. to um, stay out of bed. Are you wasting else? time so you get to stay out of bed longer? Yeah. I put it back to the no. You were going to put it in a bed at 6.30. Yeah. It was 7.30. My, it was 6.30. My time to go to bed is 7.30. Yes, but it well, takes you 15 want... minutes to do your goodbyes. Show me your teeth. Not very clean. Because That's Naomi because put... she wasn't moving. Yep, and Naomi put a on. lot of toothpicks on her face. She needs to say goodnight first and then we'll do it again. No, go and do it again. Then no. I need to inspect them. Come on, yeah. let's go. Fine, no, I'll get to do it. Even got an electric toothbrush. Get Dad to do it. Now. No, get Dad to do it because you nearly got toothpaste in my eye last time and I wear glasses as safety. Come on, will you scroll? Let's go. We'll get Mr. Buzzy Buzzy the toothbrush going. Oh, Remember, no. we don't need the toothbrush. <laughs> oh, okay, now we're going to stick this on. So remember, we went from the bottom left up to the center point. Stick this on. So remember, we went from the bottom left up to the center point. What are we making for it, Mum? The card. Oh, that's very descriptive it's like a never-ending card or an infinity card mm. oh, you watch the whole wednesday season when tuesday i had it playing in the background i don't know what happened no, we're not here about okay so to the back right left Top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom. Now we need to do these top bits, these bits. So let's turn our card upside down. Love the reasons for. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All the reasons in the world. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It looks like origami. Like origami, super complicated card, too hard for me. Oh, it is not, Tanya. You'll be fine. Radio. It's a good excuse to have cookies when you grow up. So let's minus an inch and a half from our six inches, and we get four and a half inches. So four and a half inches is how high this piece is. So we minus off our inch and a half. This is four and a half inches high by three inches wide. Okay. Interesting, isn't it? It's going to be quite funny. But you don't need a template for this. Templates are not going to help you. All right. I'm going to make things cook it. Okay, I'll we'll say goodnight and then mum can get on to this next bit because some of my lovely, lovely creative family are thinking they can't do this. And I know they can. I can. Oh, so here you go. The eight-year-old thinks she can do it. It's not too hard for you, Tanya. Love you. See you in the morning. Are you ready for the next race? So am I going to have to see? Do you want to see? So what do you do? So it's a car. Gosh, you're good at manipulating people. Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 Kiss. Naomi. Give me a kiss. Naomi, that's cheating. That, Naomi, that was cheating. Oh, you're on the other side. Um, I'm loving this card. I'm just now thinking of what papers I have here to create them over the weekend. There you go. No, Lethal, you'll be able to do it. 
Oh, oh I think I missed. Okay. Okay, Leela just messaged me. Thank you, Leela. Okay. So we worked out that this is four and a half by three. So that means that we need to make that. We need to make two. So we need to cut that to be. Oh, cutter, that's not going to cut that. It's still too big. We need it to be four and one quarter inches high. So we're taking a quarter off. Four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I'm going to make one. And let's make one from the music of the other end. Two. So four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Two. We're going to card upside down. So where marked lines this time are going to be the halfway point at the top, which is going to be one and three eighths, so halfway between one and a quarter and one and a half. marking it the same yeah and then we're going to talk about the bottom here so this bottom piece let's just put a ruler there so this bottom rank rectangle which we've got one at this end here this bottom rectangle is technically three inches by one and a half inches so it's going to be the base so the piece that we're going to fill this three by one and a half with is one and a quarter inches by two and three quarters, right? And we go to make our pot bot bottom, you know, the bottom of our tree, our pot or our trunk or whatever on earth it is. The bit we're going to stick presents onto. I don't know how I'm going to stick baubles on these, but I need to find something to make baubles out of. Sequence? No, they'll fall off. It's too interactive for that. So the point we need to find is where it would be for that. So we're going to have an inch and a quarter as our bottom piece, right? Our bottom piece is an inch and a quarter high for this. So it's an inch and a quarter high, the bit we put inside that. So it'll be two and three quarters by an inch and a quarter. So then what that means is we have to come up from the bottom here an inch and a quarter. So we're going to come up. So when you make this a different height, you're going to come up to make the start of your cut line the same height that this piece here is. Stickers would really work. Little tiny colour cuts would work. But I didn't grab a pack of the ones I thought of. They've got pine cones in them. No one's seen them. I have got a pack of colour cuts that no one in the retreat group has seen. So I'm coming up an inch and a quarter from the bottom. <coughs> so making this a square so that these are all the same width around actually helps you to get this measurement here. So remembering your measurement up from the bottom to make this is the depth you're going to use for this rectangle here. So you're marking a line an inch and a quarter up from the bottom? Well, I'm marking the point an inch and a quarter up from the bottom on both sides. Got one there. And one there. So then we're going to cut from the top center down to our inch and a quarter from the bottom mark. And this is what I mean about telling you 
the why, like how to find that measurement yourself, like without just going trial and error and hacking up a whole ton of paper. And always make sure you get your measurements right there. Right. Let's test that one. And look at that. It's not quite perfect because I'm not perfect. Oh, it's wrong. What the hey? Just wait. Don't do that. Okay. I know what I did wrong. Let's come with one of those. Yeah, it's one and three eighths. It's actually one and three eighths because we don't need the mat. Okay, I'll explain why I got it wrong. Okay, I'll explain why I got it wrong. I wasn't thinking really well. That's really naughty of me. So it's almost correct. Okay, it's almost correct except the simple fact that this cut line here doesn't go down to the inside matted point. It goes down to the top edge. So this needs to be one and three eighths. It needs to be... The inside measurement plus the border on the top here. So it needs to be the inside, the measurement of the piece to go in here plus the top border, which is an eighth of an inch. So we're coming up one and three eighths. Sorry about that. I didn't even think of that. Well, that makes it a pretty easy measurement because you've got one and three eighths to make the center and then one, one and three, and three eighths, eighths up from the bottom. Yes, it does make it a better measurement. But it's also a measurement that you've got to try and find. So it's so what you're finding is the width of the rectangle piece, the mass piece on the rectangle, which is one and a quarter inches high, plus the top border. Because the cut doesn't go to the border like the matted piece, it goes down to it goes to um, the top of the box. So one, three, eight. One and three eighths. See, I am far, far, far from perfect. I hope that makes sense to you. Makes sense to you. Makes sense to you. So far, all I've used is one piece of white linen embossed in one piece of piece of paper. Yeah. Well, we've actually used a quarter of a piece of piece of oh, white linen. Ta-da! Look at that. That'd be better. There we go. It's not going to be absolutely perfect. I'm cutting angles. I'm marking it with a pencil. You just did the same thing with the second rectangle. Yep, I did exactly the same. So the centre of the top, which is one and three eighths in from the edge, and one and three eighths up from the bottom, which is what our mat is going to be. Well, we already know what our mat's going to be now for our rectangle along the bottom. Let's get rid of our pencil lines and come out to the point when you do your point. When you rub out on points, come out to the point and a nice soft eraser. This is like a stable one. This was the last one we had in stock. But the pens are very exciting we got in. Got um, I will show you I will show them to you in tomorrow morning's weekly roundup. 
but what I will do is they won't probably be in until Sunday. Um, there's a lot of uh, so one type of pen we've we've already got, and there's new colours. Um, and then we've got one type of pen and a refill, and then we've got two colours in another type of pen. We've got a whole ton of colours in another pen. That first one that we was mostly restocks is we've got new colours in it too. And is there another type of pen? I think there's another type of pen as well. But a lot of journaling pens. Some are art for Naomi John's classes. A lot of pens for her classes but also serious quantity of good quality um great price and yeah they're japanese pens too so yeah manufactured in japan i'm pretty sure oh stuck on crooked Deary, deary me. Turn over. Where'd the other one go? There it is. So this is it for the hard stuff. perfect but okay let's have a go so to the back right left top bottom right left top bottom turn it over to the back right left top that's crooked bottom right left top bottom and this one I've stuck on a bit crooked It's the point I want to be right. It's this top bit I want to be. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this way. So let's do the bottom bit here. We already know what size that's going to be because we've had to look at that size for our other piece. And we're going to use this piece. This is piece number three. So we're going to cut a one and a quarter inch wide strip. And then we're going to cross cut that at two and three quarters. And we're going to make two of those. One. Two. So two by one and three quarter. By two and three quarter. From Three. So when you're making this for the first time, there is no harm and no shame in making one and writing instructions on it and lots of notes and arrows and, um, you know, writing what size the mats are going to be and all that sort of thing and some little notes on how to cut and then keeping that one in your stash as your how-to. So I'm going to stick this on here. I'm going to pop him in here and then grab some of my little presents. 
Diane's going to be watching this so much over the weekend. Yep. And then Michelle, um, and Helen put me too. And Michelle put, yep, so much. Okay, so where do those little cutouts come from? What is this button over? Paper six. Coming right, let's stick two little presents on here. So I've got a. Where's another gold one? I'm coming. Let's do a. Yes. Are you the naughty kitten? Did you catch a sparrow this morning? Missy caught a sparrow Finch this morning. Finch, sorry, not sparrow. No, I'm not Finch. Must have been the slowest finch on the planet for a cat with a brain injury and um, a gammy eye to catch it. Wonky eye, wonky eye, crooked spine, and a brain injury, and she caught a finch. Finch must have been dying. Must have been asleep. So two little presents and then let's have a look. Oh, well, let's stick the other one on the other side. I think we just put a big pink present on this. Yeah. We're driving up the driveway this afternoon and Naomi had already moved her off the driveway once and she ran back out in the middle of the driveway. Oh, hang on a second here. What? I've got some spam happening on YouTube. Right, okay. It's come up on light speed, but it didn't come up on my YouTube yet. No, they're not coming through to YouTube always. Right. I'm just going to get rid of the scammer. No. Hopefully you guys aren't seeing him, which is good. Just blocking the user. Very inappropriate content. Love you, YouTube. I do love YouTube, actually. YouTube, um, although, because I don't get to, you know, do my paperwork with my, you know, add the tags and all that straight away, they do kind of penalise me a bit with sharing my videos, but they do run the videos through more than one check and test so it means that I don't get falsely accused of using someone else's music That's okay, and stuff. Liz, you're going to do it. What's that? Mm. Liz is off and Venera on the YouTube said she's sick of scammers that everywhere. I'm cold. Feeling cold. Oh, it was cold last night, wasn't it? Yeah. So was that Liz saying? She's Got to go. Yeah. You just get so sick of the scammers, eh? Um, lovely catching up with you two tonight, Liz. Um, so, to the back, right, left, top, oh, Christmas tree, bottom, right, left, oh, upside down, Miss Jane, top, bottom, righty -o. So let's do the other side, right, left, top, beautiful Christmas tree, bottom, right, left, top, bottom. Let's do our little squares. What are we going to do then? No, it's got to be something different. There you go, Mary's putting together a book of instructions, plus examples of cards, books, etc. Yep. Good idea. Oh, I thought you missed that. Marie's been copping a few dodgy friends of course lately. Yeah. yeah. Just got to be careful. Let's 
Actually, can we use that for our pot dice? Let's use this spider piece of our fussy cut sheet number six. I've got an inch and a quarter here. I wonder. I'm just going to trim this. Nah, let's just use this bottom bit. Let's get out of it. So we need an inch and a quarter wide. One inch and a quarter wide. So we need an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Squares. And two and a half. Four. No, eight. Yeah, and I don't know if we're going to get them all. So we've got one, two, three. So I'm just going backwards here. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna get. Oh, I meant to bring home. I meant to um, make an extra one for Amelia Ann. I'll have to make one and then show you what I made for what we made for each of the kids in her class. We made them a gnome for the holidays sticker pack, and they've got a snowflake on the top of the packet. And oh, I think I've got a packet of snowflakes here. So, all I'm doing is I'm using 24 more tape, which is my go to, and I am just sticking a piece. And this is when the only time I cut tape is when I'm making like squares to put on squares. But that's this one. Is that the other cat at the door? No, it's this one. Oh, no, it's the other one at the door. She's outside. She's calling you. Come on, Dad, let me in. Well, it's a good thing you're coming in because usually you try and stay out. Come on, get... I'll shut the window now. Right. We feed a third cat now, but it's not ours. No, there's a cat at the shop. The kids have named it Sookie. And it's got Sookie sad eyes and some sort of Burmese thing but I'm actually going to um, this is going to sound really terrible of me but I'm going to say that the RSPCA will be able to actually sell her um, she will be but I'm just going to make sure she doesn't act I don't think she's got kittens but she's living in the wall between our shop and, and the crevice in the wall between our shop and the shop next door so I just need to or the building next door between the two buildings just need to make sure she doesn't have kittens in there before I um, get her taken to the RSPCA it's she's an inside cat she's like a she's been someone's pet she's an indoor cat 
and she's very frightened and that we know it's a female because she's not doing despicable male things radio so let's go to the back right left top beautiful bottom right left top bottom turn it over so to the back right left top bottom right left top bottom okay so what we need to do we need to sort of put nope see when you do it wrong like that that's weird and see that you know if you do do it wrong yeah it goes to that so when you do it wrong you get that kind of thing happen are we going to give everyone like a full sheet of white linen in this just so they can make more than one yeah i think if we, we do give everyone a sheet, one sheet if we give paper, them a piece of one a piece of six a piece of three piece of three and a piece of white linen they, can make at least four cards. they should be on make four cards mix and match and yeah. juggle it round and make sort of four cards so i'll call it a four card sheet So what we need to do is we need to put like some baubles on here somehow. And these kind of need baubles. I could cut out these little circles. Not. Amelia would just draw them. I ain't gonna do that. Oh, it makes four crads. Oh, it needs to say it makes four crads, not four crads. Do you know that crads is not? It doesn't come up in the uh, wrong spelling. So it's obviously well, it's obviously a word somewhere. There's a word somewhere called crad. Ooh. Gold bling bling glitter glue stuff. If I put that on, it's not going to dry. Okay. okay, so I'm going to do something that's not going to dry. Very wise to make sure she, yeah, I don't think she does have kittens. It's only been there three weeks or two and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For her Someone had brought in some little kittens they'd found. Made a mistake of not wanting to see if mum would. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Madeline is a found kitten. So one of our, a lady that used to live two doors up from us used to work at the steel recycling place and madeline was madeline's mum was had her kittens in one of the steel bins and they heard a noise and went you know and found her there and the kittens were two days old and the mum took off and they waited and waited and you know kept an eye on the kittens and the mother didn't come back so they took um three kittens went to the rspca and sandra bought one of the kittens home and she was two days old and she yeah. had to go to the vet and she is our madeline and she was hand fed with an eyedropper yeah. and it's why she's a bit of a sicky cat she doesn't um oh use a crocodile and make baubles i might do that um it's yeah it's why she's not really she's not really good at knowing when her tummy's full and she's not really good at knowing um yeah so, she has got some erratic internet so she said sorry for the late comment but those presents were made for this card she said yeah they were weren't they okay i'm going to use a combination of crocodile i'm going to show you a couple of options to decorate you think i will have color cuts that'll fit on here the traditional Christmas um, accessory pack, yes. builder accessory pack. Can you put a link up? Because some of the things accessory. in that 
That will be not the wreath one, the one that goes with the wreath. Yeah, the wreath accessory pack. We watch over the weekend. Yes, you too. Um, you too, Leslie. Um, I only cut today. That's a very long time. No, no, it's a very long pick. <laughs> So it has got in it like bell, there's lots of red things, but there's little bells and pine cones and there's little cookies and there's some little gold baubles and little cotton fluffs and, and or little cotton flowers and then there's um, little stars and cookies or so that's, yep, there's 60 pieces in it and it's lots of little pieces. And even though it goes with traditional Christmas, which is red and green, a lot of it is gold and brown, which will go pine with this. Cones would be pine cones would be perfect. Okay, so options are you could trace or paste individual little stars or a few different stars on your pieces, remembering that this is up and then it's down. You could, so Trish suggested cutting out baubles with like your circle punch or your crocodile. What you need to do is you need to put tape on the back of your card stock, your pattern paper, and then cut out your little pieces. So then you can peel the back off the tape and not have to fuss with glue. And then look, bauble. Uh, you could quite happily use a like grab things like so the art by Marlene. Let's grab a scrap of something. Hello, you could grab your the art by Marlene paints and remembering that you can make little dots, but you can only decorate one side at a time with that. So you could do little, yeah, you could do little glow on that ones. You could do little dots to make garlands. Yep, do you know what I mean? You could use, make garlands you with, stickles? Stickles? yep, stickles or the Arpo Marlene. Remember there's gold and silver paint in these tubes as well. Yeah. So these you could um, put it on something and use a palette knife to spread it through a star stencil. This is the Celebrate Swirly Star one. It is really awesome. Or you could do a little um, dot baubles. Oh, that's a bit big. You could do um, oh, ants. You could do little tiny dots that were um, and you can make your dots as small as you want with this. You could do little tiny ones and make like tinsel, do like garlandy tinsel, uh, or you could draw, like you could use it to draw tinsel, to like draw your tinsel around with it. No, we've got the gold paint, don't we? Or is it only the silver that's left? I was mucking with that sand today, restocking. So you could draw. Or with your 3D glossy effect, you could do, you know, you could do the dots, you could do oh, garlands, silver. Silver dots, and you can make the dots as big or as small as you want. Um, yeah, you could do um, lots of things to embellish, but I will... We'll have something. Yeah. What about the uh, Montmartre glitter paint? Uh, no, it's too. How do you apply it? Montmartre glitter paint you could put through the stencil, run it through the stencil like paste. You could put a dot of Dimensional Magic and sprinkle loose glitter on it. Yep, yeah, use glitter like, like Deborah just said. You could. Um, I'm just gonna put this on my little thing here so I know. Part of my, I'm just gonna sit it there. Um, so you could put dots of dimensional magic and then sprinkle glitter on it. You could use glitter glue. You could use, if you're gonna use bling and diamantes, just be a little careful to keep it flat. Sequins are not gonna cope with this. See, I did it wrong. 
So it is towards the back, right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom. What are you doing, darling? You're just checking what I got in here. Just seeing what. Get out of that tub. Oh no, she's climbing over. Oh, dearie me. She's a bit of a menace. Um. Yeah. Oh, Elisa. Oh, was Diane asking me a question? I must have missed it. Oh, okay. She was finishing the sets. So, has anyone got any questions? So to the back, right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom, right, left. I should have gone left, right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> how do you tell others how to use it? I'll give you a QR code. Why don't you write the poem on a little tag <laughs> or on the back of the card? On the back of the envelope, you put recite after me before opening to the back, right, left, top, bottom. <laughs> yeah. Like the warning you put on milk, you beware of the So you just, you just have up here a little tag that's hanging there or you, you know. Plastic a tag around it. Plastic a tag around it. Please follow. To the back, right, left, top, bottom, right, left, top, bottom. But yeah, right, left, um, top. Look at that. Isn't that cute as? Do you want to put a set of those uh, things in with it? Um, in the kit. So people would you just... like a set of mini colour cuts that'll go with this? That no one's seen. Oh, the big inset. The no. 60 piece set. If you're making four cards out of that one kit, you can. No, we won't. We'll just make it as a base kit. But. Yeah. Just put a link to it. This will you could use this to embellish your card right. on the on the product. Okay. You're gonna have to take a few photos. I'm like a hundred. You know, maybe a QR code. Right maybe a QR code says Diane because she knows Quentin is getting very good at QR codes, isn't he? They work too. Who else is getting good at QR codes because we use them? I stick it to right Would you sure. put? Ah, uh, you're writing anywhere on the card. Okay. Flying ant trapped under the crystal. 3D crystal access. I'll have to do a video of you following okay. me for the QR code. <laughs> Alright, Okay, so one side of your Christmas tree, right, left, top, is all your baubles and things. But you'd have your baubles on the whole bit, you know, or your baubles and things. Like, so when you did one side, it was all baubles and tinsel and, you know, your tinsel across and, and all that sort of thing. The other side, when you do it, you'd have your message sort of like your, your two here and then a bit of a heartfelt message and then from down here. But you'd have like some of your bauble and decoration here, here and here. So you'd have to Grandma, have a wonderful Christmas from the Red Shores, but you'd have some decoration up here, some decoration here, and some decoration here. So it balanced out nicely. And then on the other side, it will be all... See, it doesn't work if you do it wrong. It will be all, you know, with your decorations and your embellishments. Just a lot of practice to get ready for. Oh, you'll be right. It's not hard. I've seen a few card code patterns, so why not? Yep. There you go. Thank you, Dee. 
I've seen other stores now using QR codes. We've been using QR codes for years. But we were using QR codes at craft shows years ago. So that's the back and that's the front when it's in that point. But when you go to decorate it, I would say, like, decorate these two at the same time and then, like, decorate that sitting like that. So then decorate that. And then I'd go decorate these two. And decorate that. Well, actually, you need to decorate this one and this one while they're upside down because otherwise you don't get access. So when you do that, you don't get access to the whole thing unless you do that. But, yeah, you just need to decorate these points and then these pieces, which is you know, trapezoid -y things. Um, thank you, Pam. Thank you, D. Be fun to compare. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Oh, yep. Oh. oh, thank you, Tanya. Oh, it's not that hard. Not that hard at all. When I give it to people, I'll have to give them instructions on how to flip it. Yep. 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 Just give them the poem. Give them the card. Please recite this. Before um, love the card. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Debbie. But, yeah, remember the poem. To the back, right, left, top bottom right left top bottom thank you marie definitely leaders in the tech world. <laughs> yeah. well we try to be d we you've got to be you've got to you know like got to be able to get the information to the customer in the easiest possible way and i think a lot of you have learned lots of techy things in the last couple of years yep We've, you know, like how many people it was their first time they Zoomed when they did a retreat with us and, you know, done lots of cool, cool stuff, super oh, cool stuff. Only $7. It's only $7 for the kit. That's uh, awesome. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Trish and Raquel. Thank you, Jacqueline. So there you go. It's $7 for the kit. He's just, he's nearly finished. Yeah. Um, we should have a massive, massive order of cardstock arriving next week. We don't unbox cardstock. It's boring as that. But, well, you know, what yeah. should we? Yeah, look, here's another 20. Here's, oh, well, here's another 500 sheets of, you know. Oh, geez, I just killed a bug on my piece of cardstock. Here's another 500 sheets of this, of, of this particular shade of white cardstock. <laughs> Look, this one's gone. Oh, look, there's another 500 sheets of a different thickness of craft cardstock. Yeah, no, nah, I don't do unboxing. I've done, I think I've done one unboxing at cardstock and it was boring as bad news. <laughs> we don't do that yeah, anymore. anymore. Oh, thank you, Mary. It doesn't look like much, but. It's, it's going to be what you make it. Oh, great fun. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Lots of firsts for you. There you go, Marie. You did really well. With... That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad, Chloe. I, I want it to be that you can come back and watch the class and just make the project. Especially things are like this that are a little bit more than normal. They're a little bit more difficult than normal. If you were to make this as a 5 inch by 5 inch square... I like this proportion on the six by six inch square with the one and a half inch sides. I think it looks, it's a nice, it's a nice pleasing shape triangle. Not all triangles are pleasing in shape. So, but you could make it smaller. Amazing when it comes to the tech world. Thank you, D. So much from you all. Thank you, Jacqueline. Well, we've learned lots from you. Jacqueline's my Tuesday morning card making scribe. Jacqueline is the better scribe. I don't know what I'm going to do when she starts working. Um, thank you, Karen. Doing guys. online classes. There you go, Marie. Thank you, Jacqueline. 
and do photos on that. Yes, you could do photos on this, definitely, Marie. Lots of little photos or big photos or anything. You could cut your photos to these sizes uh, that I'm making items for from. So easy to find. Awesome. Yeah, you could bookmark the classes on your um, bookmark. Them. And that's a little star on the top right on your internet browser if you're using Google Chrome. Um, Facebook works a lot better on Google Chrome as well. Only casual part-time, so I'll work it out. Okay. There you go. Um, and there's got my heart's all the right way up at least. There you go. Woohoo. Woohoo. There you go. You're on fire, the man. Wow. Has anyone else made it along with me? Oh, look. This, uh, this Isn't this studio light stuff awesome? It's already starting to dry. Look well, at that. It's rather warm. Tonight. It uh, is like warm. The other, night, the other night was on. cold. We had jackets on the other night. It's not as hot as it was on Monday night because Monday night was was Monday night hot. Monday still. night was just hot. Yeah, and on the weekend it was really tropical. Um. Oh, YouTube's been erratic. Yeah. Yeah, I've said that before. So she's late yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, so hello Sandra and Lanair, Liz and Deborah over on the tube. And hello everybody else here. So if you came along, what was that stuff? Um, this, I think we've got silver left. We've only got silver left, so I'll put up a link. It's glitter it stuff. It's silver plated. It's we will have um, blowing a gale down where Marie is. We will have a wonderful weekend, Diane. Uh, photos in one inch circles. Oh, one inch circle photos would be awesome or even like cutting faces out in little half inches or you could cut people out and make them into little elves and yeah by cutting the hats off the gnomes i think Chloe, well, you should have a thank you pam Thanks. um you might actually have them chloe i don't know I think you should put the set. but um so yeah oh i i thought this little sign you could cut the stalk off the end and you could put the little sign on here as well and there's a bow um so if you came along and said hello and i missed it hello um if you left a lovely comment thank you really appreciate it um and yeah we really appreciate having you all in our creative family um yeah thank you very much we truly truly do appreciate your support and love and care and you know helping us keep our our little family business going um which is probably a bit big for us some days because we manufacture so much product oh, really but yeah next weekend is going to be awesome because finally get to really create with peace and joy Anyone that we used to not to try the yeah, that's not very nice i just want an extra 10 hours a day good night to my crafty pen good good night to you too pam so thank you very much for coming on night mary thank you we awesome. will take so on this take virtual. care stay safe it's going to be interesting what his photos are uh can't wait to see what he what he turns up with for his photos and um we will see you all tomorrow morning for a weekly roundup um unlike last weekend when we did daily roundups for oh, no. five days straight um we're only doing a weekly roundup this week and i'll show you the pens but they won't be until sunday so see you all later. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. And um, can't wait to see what you make with this card. Bye.